this recording? Yeah. Hey everybody. Listen, I'm just making this video. This is all sort of experimental for me still. Still learning. Uh, but I want to um, I want to start this video log or vlog, if you will, to just put down my journey somewhere so that people, especially my family, can uh, see and get some sort of an idea of where I'm going and because uh, as I embark on what I hope to be the next leg of my path through life, um, most of my family won't be able to be there. I would hope that at some point maybe they could become a part. And that's totally up to them. My, my children are all grown and starting families of their own. All have careers and uh, but so this is my attempt to try and put that down somewhere so that they can have access to it and say hey this is what dad's doing. This is where he is and uh, wow that looks cool you know or whatever so I'm excited about it this is the day before Thanksgiving um, Wednesday what is it the 25th I think 2020 and uh, I'm running around doing errands because I'm retired from my old job even though I am still wearing the clothes. Now, uh, part of the journey that I just referenced to is, um, and I'm not tagging them in this because I have not actually submitted the application yet, but I've been in contact with a recruiter from Prime Incorporated, which is a mega carrier uh, trucking transportation company out, based out of uh, Springfield, Missouri, and um, I have been talking to a, record, a recruiter, um, and so I'm fairly confident that, that my application will be accepted. Now, why, at my age, okay, so I'll tell you right now, I probably won't mention it again. For a long time, anyway. But I'm 64 right now, so why at my age am I getting another job? Well, that's kind of involved, and I'm not going to go into all of the details. But I will say this: that uh, it has always been, even sort of su subliminally, subliminally. Uh, in other words, kind of maybe under the surface, but driving a truck has always been a dream of mine. Uh, from when I was a kid, my, my grandpa on my mom's side owned his own excavation company. And when we would go to their house in Kansas, there were all these old rusty Ford dump trucks parked in the backyard. And when we would get there, I would say hi to Grandma and Grandpa, and I'd make a beeline for the backyard. And I was sitting in those rusty old trucks, probably full of bugs and spiders and stuff like that. And, uh, and shifting the gears and climbing in the, in the box and back and just climbing all over that, just having a great time. That was my playground at my Grandma's house. And, uh... My dad, for a short while, uh, was a truck driver. He drove over the road. He hauled um, mobile homes back in the day, back in the late 60s. As a matter of fact, part of the reason that I am living where I am now in Oregon is the result of a trip my dad made back in the late 60s 
hauling a mobile home out to the Pacific Northwest and fell in love with it and eventually moved all of us out here. Um, you know, I got to ride with him in a trip down to Houston. We lived in Oklahoma City at the time. So there's been this sort of this maybe a romantic view of driving a truck. Maybe it shouldn't be that romantic. Hey, I've driven a large vehicle now for 20 years. And, uh, you know, there's, there's some things that just aren't romantic about it. Okay, so I know that. But, um, you know, I guess it's always been a dream of mine. So, I am embarking, I'm attempting to anyway on that career and uh, <sighs> sorry I um, I had a thought a few minutes ago oh when I pointed to my logo um, it's a gentleman that as a result of this doing my due diligence I uh, a couple of the people that I've met just online, Eric and Jenna of Driver Lineup, uh, Eric the other day pointed out that there's no, he doesn't wear a uniform for Prime, he, you know, um, Prime doesn't supply his wardrobe. I'm the opposite, you know, I've, my company has... Uh, supplied my wardrobe now for 20 years. Let me tell you, when you're working for a company where a uniform is required and you are either at, going to, or coming home from that place 10 to 12 hours a day for 20 years, yeah, that's pretty much your, your, your wardrobe. So uh, I'm still getting rid of that. Actually, this is a great fleece, so. No, it's the you said. Anyway, um, as this so this video is just introductory. Excuse me for rambling on. I'm driving, so I'm going to go get lunch right now. I've enjoyed the three weeks of retirement that I've had. It's been amazing. Not waking up at three o'clock every freaking morning. Thank God. Anyway, um, I do want to wish all of my newfound friends online, you know who you are, because I do have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I can't go over everybody. Um, friends and family, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, remember, gratitude is a great attitude to have, and uh, just thank God for life, for freedom, what freedom we have, and uh, have a great day, blessed holiday, talk to you soon.